Hello, my name's Scott Perry. I'm a professional magician, and this is a magic review. It's a kind of magic. In today's review, we're looking at the Into Wallet by TCC. Thank you for TCC for sending this to me and making this review possible for you. The TLDR is that I think it's a very good, a very viable wallet. I think in terms of the cost, in terms of the build, in terms of the options that it gives you for both mentalism and also for card to, uh, card to wallet, um, I think it's really, really good. And uh, yeah, for the price point and the instructions and everything that you get with this as a, as a whole package, I think it's very good. If you like what you're seeing with the Into Wallet, then uh, do consider picking it up. That's the TLDR. What is it? It's a slim wallet that uh, gives you, I think, three options for different peaks. And then it gives you two options, uh, I think, for card to wallet. One of the options is incredibly deceptive and very clever, but that's what it is. Essentially, it's a slim everyday carry style wallet that gives you the option to both perform mentalism and also certain card tricks. What do you get with it? Well, you get the wallet itself. You get some, you get some red and red and white envelopes for card to envelope. You get this little slide that's uh, like 50% transparent that's used for certain peaks. Uh, you get some of these cards as well, some of these um, cards that you would write down on or you would get a spectator to write on. And then you also receive a slide as well, which as you can see, I have not used. Uh, so that is what you receive with the Into Wallet. There's also 30 minutes of really detailed instructions hosted on Vimeo. And the instructions are in English. They are downloadable as well. So you do own the instructions. And I, th there was something else that I wanted to mention, but I, I forget what, oh, it was about the instructions. So the instructions that you receive, although it's 30 minutes of comprehensive instruction and really easy to follow, uh, they do not teach you any routines with it. So all of the presentation and routining you will have to come up with yourself, but the details and the teachings that they do provide you with are really good thorough and clear. How easy is it to use the Into Wallet? It's super easy. Uh, so I think that we're at a point now where we have so much selection as magicians with wallets and uh, lots of them have really great points to them and this is certainly one of them. Uh, for example, there's a load for a card, uh, for a card to wallet that I think is so super clever. And uh, while you might be able to do it with some other wallets as well, uh, I think that it suits this wallet pretty well. There's also a peak that I've not seen before uh, and it's really ingenious. Uh, so you basically get someone to, to write down or draw something on the card. You then place it uh, inside here like this. And then as you, so you wouldn't, you wouldn't have this billet here necessarily. As you go inside, you, you can uh, just take a billet out and then you have peaked what's inside that folded up card. Really clever stuff. So overall, I would say that this is definitely approachable and workable within a very, um, very small, very short time period for both beginner magicians all the way up to pros. Pros and, and magicians who have some experience with cards will get along with this really easily there's not much of a learning curve with the Into Wallet. The reset time is not really applicable for this. Uh, you know, it's, it's a wallet. Unless you're doing, uh, you know, a card to envelope, then obviously you'll have to reset another envelope uh, with the slide and everything. But other than that, there's not really a reset time with this because after the reveal, you're ready to go straight away. There's no, um, there's no flaps or magnets or anything that you need to prepare again inside the wallet. It's just constantly something that's ready to go. Angles are wonderful for this as well, actually. 360 degrees for pretty much everything, uh, except for uh, one or two of the loads, which you load uh, while the wallet's in your back pocket. Uh, but if you're wearing a formal dinner jacket, then you might be able to get away with it. But all of the other things that they teach you, all of the other methods and techniques are 360 degrees. So for example, there's one 
uh, there's one version of a card to wallet or a handling of a card to wallet that I think is so good. And the person who's in the instructions teaching, it's his favorite. He says it's his favorite uh, method or, or handling of card to wallet. And, uh, you know, it's my favorite too. Really clever stuff. There's also a peak that's super clever that I've never seen. And all of this can be done 360 degrees. So in terms of angles, it's so, so good. Pocket space is equally good. It's a very slim wallet. You can definitely put this in uh, your front trouser pockets if, if your pockets are cut diagonally. If your pockets are cut straight, straight cut, like on some trousers, you might struggle to get it in and out because it's, it's a little bit wide, but you could always put it in your back pocket. You could always put it in one of your jacket pockets. Uh, so if you're going out in just t-shirts and trousers, you would you preferably, you would want to have a pocket with let's diagonally cut for ease of access. Uh, but yes, in, in terms of in general, the pocket space for this is, is fantastic. I think you, you could definitely put this and a pack of cards in, in your pocket and you've got so much material that you can do, both mentalism, both card tricks. And uh, yeah, the pocket space is, 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 is pretty good, as you can see uh, by the thinness and, and size of the wallet just here. My final thoughts are that I really recommend it. Uh, you know, I have a few wallets. I have a, a, one of the older, taller Jerry O'Connell wallets, which are really good as well. Uh, you know, I use a fire wallet on a regular basis that also has a card to wallet built in. Uh, so I do know that these kinds of effects are really popular for a reason, because they are really impressive and really entertaining. And also, this is something that isn't necessarily going to break on you in any way. There's no threads, there's no, no magnets, it doesn't need recharging. So in my opinion, uh, most magicians should have some kind of wallet that, that, that has these kinds of features, a peak. Uh, a, a card to wallet and I think this is a very good one uh, to add to to the market of wallets that are out there it's made by the creator of the edge wallet and it's very similar um, but there are some minor differences as well the, on the instructions they say that this is kind of like an upgraded version of the edge wallet and while the functionality is slightly different uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it an upgraded one. I would just say it's a different version. If you already have the Edge Wallet, I'm not sure there's a reason for you to for you to own this, unless you like the very specific peaks that you can do with it, and also if you like the aesthetic of the wallet itself as well. Uh, that I think is everything for for the review. There's not much else to say um, that I haven't already said. So I don't want to go around in circles, but. If you enjoyed the review, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment below if you have any questions about the Intu wallet, and I'll see you in the next review.